What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Candroid Crypto. Um, this is something a little different. I haven't seen a lot of people doing. Um, there's a lot of broken graphics cards around guys. Like I've been seeing them on Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. Um, someone messaged me or actually I saw their ad and they had an RX 570. Uh, this is a 4 gig card and he messaged me. He's like, yeah, there's something wrong with the card. And then I started talking to him and he said he was playing around with the card in his rig or in his computer and he had a metal ring on and he hit somewhere on the card and it made a spark and then it blew it up. So the card no longer works. Um, hopefully you're going to be able to see the meter there. So on, this is the broken card. Now this is an RX 570 8 gig card I have. It's essentially the same identical card, same layout. On a working card, I'm measuring between the negative and the yellow wires, which is the positive. You can see the resistance of the meter increasing, and this is in K. So this is 5K right now, it's increasing. It's going to go up to about 6K, and it's going to kind of hold in that area, 6 to 6.2K. So this is on a good card. Hopefully you can see it on the meter. Okay, there we go, 5.7. It's kind of slowing down, like it's charging up a little bit. But uh, anyways, we're around, we're around 6K, give or take. Now, if I do the same measurement on... The non-working card, check out that power line guys, completely zero, there is no resistance between the negative and the positive of the card. So this card has a power railing short on it, and I'm not surprised because he hit it with the back of his ring. He obviously blew something up. Now there's a lot of things, pretty much everything on that card is tied to the power railing. Um, but what I have kind of pinpointed. There's some capacitors up in here. I don't, I'm not sure if the camera's going to see it, but there's there's a row of capacitors here, which kind of um, they're going to kind of like stabilize and maintain your voltage on the card. If I check, so if I compare this one, you can see this one climbing on the meter. So that railing or that power rail on the card looks good, and if I compare it to the working card. It kind of does the same thing. You can see the resistance is there and it's increasing with the meter, right? Now, the next cap underneath it, so again, it's supposed to charge up like that. Now, on the bad one, you can see it's completely zero again. So, there's this whole bank of capacitors, or whatever the output that it is that they're attached to, is completely shorted on this card. So, my goal, now whether I'm going to succeed or not guys, I don't know. My goal is to try to use this as a good card and try to maybe isolate maybe what it is on this card that has failed. Right, let's start taking the card apart. Let's, um, there's four spring-loaded screws here on the back of the card. Um, I've loosened them off a little bit. Now I'm, oh, that one just jumped into nowhere land. We definitely don't want to lose that. Wow. Yeah, spring loaded guys, be careful. They will jump on you. And let's get to the fourth one out here. Okay, so I have the four screws out that I think secure the heat sink to the card. I have never taken these apart before, but there might be two more. No, that's separate. There's two more screws here on the RX 570 Armor Editions, and those are separate. I do not see any more screws. The only thing I do see is the fan connector. Um, I probably can't get at that just yet. But let's see if we can now separate the card and the fan shroud. There we go. It is separated. And then last but not least, we're going to undo our fan wire here. I do not want to break it. Oh, there we go. Okay, fan wire is off. It does, it does take a bit of strength there, guys, to kind of pop it out. And so there we go, there's our heat sink, there's your fans. 
And here is what an RX 570 4 gig card looks like internally. Oh wow. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, I think there's been an explosion on the card here. See how all dirty this is? This isn't looking good. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the lighting's not the best. But it's very dirty over here. Um, I don't know. I hope something hasn't exploded. But let me uh, let me dive into that a little bit. But there you go, guys. RX 570 4 gig edition with the fan and the heat sinks removed. Let's, well, I'm going to try to get this little heat sink off now because I believe all the MOSFETs are under here. And seeing as that the short circuit is right here under this row of capacitors, um, I have a feeling that maybe the MOSFETs under this heat sink is probably maybe what's the issue. Unless the whole motherboard is shot and the chip is blown. Like, who knows? Anyways, guys, I'm going to continue working on this card. But uh, let me get this heat sink off and let's take a look. Let's see what's under there. So after removing this heat sink, guys, um, we do have an obvious source of, I guess, damage or self-destruction on the card. Um, it's right around the back of the capacitors where the guy hit his ring. It's exactly where he told me he hit his ring. And you can see the explosion mark on the, um, I guess, on the thermal pads. And it's a little harder to see. I'll try to get it angled in here. But you can see the explosion on their motherboard. It's that chip right there that has the white mark on it. Um, that's just the thermal pad being glued to the chip. And it's exploded through the card. Sorry, I can't get you. It's very hard to get in there, guys. But you can see there has been an explosion on this card. Um, I do not know if this card is fixable. But what I am going to do is I'm going to try to remove that white com the component there with the white cap on it. I'm going to try to clean this area up and let's at least see if we can get the short removed from the card. And then maybe I'll give it a power up. Who knows? Whatever. It, it's already blown. It can't really blow any worse. So let's see what happens, guys. Stay tuned. After finally getting this um, exploded MOSFET removed on this RX 574 gig card, you can see that the uh, there's quite a bit of damage here in the area. Um, and it was very very difficult to remove this component uh, there's a lot of I guess explosion area around here exposing bare copper so I had to add a little bit of solder to kind of help reflow it and that solder has pretty much uh, stuck all over the board here but the, the card is damaged you can see it's gone right down through one of the layers of the card uh, we are just gonna deem this RX 574 gig card this is gonna be a no fix um, even after removing this component here, I still have a short on the 12 volt rail. At this point, um, we don't know, or I don't know how many possible things could be blown. And it looks like this board is damaged and it's not repairable. So this board will become a donor board in the future for, uh, I guess, another repair. Should I happen to get an RX 570 or something that has uh, similar components? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my Discord. I am putting up pictures in a GPU repair section and some information for you guys that might want to start looking at doing some card repairs. And uh, it's not easy, guys. You, you kind of got to know some electrical stuff. I'm a trained uh, electrical technician technologist. And, um, yeah, so this card's a no-fix. Hopefully the next one's a little bit better. Alright guys. Happy fixing and happy mining.